What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back at it again with some brand new WWE action figure news and it was actually some news that broke just yesterday if you guys were unaware. WWE and Mattel, they came out, or Mattel I should say, I guess, you know, they had to approve it by WWE I'm sure, somewhere along the lines, but Mattel came out and they talked about it, man. They, they brought us in, they listened, they had their ear to the ground in the community trying to listen out for what people would want, what people are saying about the WWE Ultimate Edition WCW Monday Night Nitro in entrance stage. Now, lots to lots to discuss today, but let's go ahead and get into it, man. If you guys were unaware, yesterday they adjusted the tiers. They adjusted the tiers of the Mattel crowdfunding project. If you guys remember, I don't remember the day it was announced, but it was a few weeks back, right? Two or three weeks ago, they came out, they announced the stage, and they announced the different tier unlockables. Everybody had to say what they had to say, right? We all agreed on it, or at least a lot of us. A, a good majority of people, I think, were kind of questionable on the, the character selection, the attire selection of all the different characters and Ultimate Edition figures we got in this set. Well, yesterday they came out and adjusted the tiers. We're going to talk about that here today and kind of address the whole situation again and talk about the crowdfunder and just dive into all my thoughts. So yesterday they came out and announced that at 5,000 backers, if you guys didn't know, the Hulk Hogan did not make. We did not make the Hulk Hogan in the early bird. Apparently by, I think it was April 7th or April 9th, we were supposed to, it may have even been after that a little bit. We were supposed to fund the Hulk Hogan in a small time frame. And if we got to 5,000 backers before that date reached, we would get the Rey Mysterio and the Hulk Hogan at the 5,000 backers. Well, that didn't come to fruition, Brad. We only got like 2,000 out of the 5,000. So then everybody was like, okay, well, this thing's dead in the water now. There's no way that they're going to make it now. Then Steve from Action Figure Attack took to his Instagram story and polled everyone and said, if you could take one character from the entire WCW Nitro Stage Ultimate Edition crowdfunding set, if you could pick one character to pair with Rey Mysterio at the 5,000 backers, who would you select? Well, to no one's shock, Scott Steiner ran away with the poll, and he was the one that won the polls. Like 70%. The next, I think Ultimate Warrior was like at 12% or something like that in the next voting. It was something like that. It was something crazy. Scott Steiner definitely ran away with the vote. It wasn't even close. And so they came out and announced it. The entrance stage with the Ultimate Edition Rey Mysterio would be unlockable with Scott Steiner. So now the Scott Steiner, the Rey Mysterio, and the entrance stage are all unlocked locked at 5,000 backers. So no longer do we have to reach the 7,000 for the Scott Steiner. It may have even been 9,000. I think it was 9,000 originally Scott Steiner. They moved him and Ray to the 5,000 mark. DDP has now moved to the 7,000 mark. If he wasn't already, he may have already been the 7,000. But Ultimate Warrior dropped from the 11,000 backers to the 9,000 backers. And then they plugged in the Nitro debut Hulk Hogan at the 11,000 backers. And since they have announced this, the crowdfunding project has backed maybe Maybe 30 to 40 people. I want to say it was about 2030 or 2024 or something like that. And at time of recording, it is at a whopping 2,071 backers, 41% funded. So the needle has not moved very much. I think that, you know, the closer we get to May 6th, the more it's going to back. I mean, if I had to bet all my money on it, the closer we get to May 6th, I think it is going to back more and more. We may look at like 25, 2600, I think, by the end of it, if nothing changes from this moment. I don't know. No, man, I don't I don't know if this was enough to move the needle in the direction to get there. I feel like at this stage, if we're gonna get this thing, they're gonna have to do a Macho Man Savior Ultimate Edition figure and so, a little bit of bonus stuff. Not like super over the top, but something like that. You know what I mean? There's gonna there needs to be a Savior Macho Man like we saw last time. I think that's probably what it's gonna take in order to get this thing to the backers that we're gonna need in order to fulfill the project, in order to get all the backings that we need. I think it's I mean it just goes to show that I think everybody kind of agrees on the character selection and attires. None of them really just stand out or jump off the screen at you. And we've covered this at nauseum, or every time we mention this, we talk about the character selection, the attire selection, and I don't know what all goes into that, right? I don't know, you know, what the meetings look like. They have to get things approved. They gotta have, you know, looks and all these things. They have to get all that stuff approved. So maybe things are in the works. Like, you know, maybe they saw this thing struggling and they are in the lab right now trying to come up with some ideas that they can do, but all that stuff takes approval. Like, you can't just say, you know, Bill can't think of something today and just plug it in on his own. You know what I'm saying? It takes, like, a lot of logistics. There's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff that goes into making a selection like that. So if they wanted to add something, a new character to throw in at the 5,000 mark, unless they throw in all the characters at 5,000 backers or they come out and they add something to the Scott Steiner and Rey Mysterio, I don't know if this thing is going to make it. You know, I had hope for it. I, I just think a few more people need that little nudge. I mean, I mean, I'm a, if if we got zero characters, I would 
be all in. You know what I mean? I want the stage. I saw the thing in person. I don't know how many of you guys saw it in person. I don't know how many of you were at the Superstore and saw this thing in person. It is grand. It is massive. And I know a lot of people don't have the room or that a lot of people don't really want the stage or WC Nitro is not their thing. And Monday Night Nitro has a small part of my heart. You know what I'm saying? It kind of hits me in the feels, but it's nowhere near what a, you know, a Ruthless Aggression fist stage or an Attitude Era stage or something like that probably would be. But I'm just thinking about this stage and I'm thinking about putting a crow sting on it. I'm thinking about, you know, things that I can add to it and things that I can do creatively with it is why I'm backing. And I know not everybody is me, right? Everybody's got their own deals and, and things and, you know, they have their own boundaries that they have to set for themselves and how their collections look and all those different things. But for me, man, this thing's just way too beautiful in person. It's just a massive thing. And I was sitting there in the shower the other day and I was just thinking to myself, like, if this thing goes by and we do not get it, we're never going to see something like this again. And I hate that that has to come that way because it's like, you know, oh, you got to pay this $400 right now or you'll never get an opportunity again. But that's just kind of the cards we're dealt right now. And I don't know if Mattel's going to be behind the scenes. I don't know what they're working on. Maybe they're going to add something. I don't know. I don't know if if moving Scott Steiner in the place of Hulk Hogan is enough to get us to the 5,000 backers. I think it's a great step. I think it was the right step in the right direction. But I think the what's really going to push this thing to the edge is probably going to be a new figure. It's going to have to be a new figure or a pair of figures that are announced. I would guess they probably they probably could get us like one figure. You know what I mean? Maybe like a like a Hulk Hogan NWO with the right tan, similar to his last Ultimate Edition or his first Ultimate Edition, the Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Throw in a different cloth goods shirt. Throw in these same head sculpts you're getting with this Nitro debut Hogan. Give us the black gear and you know just kind of tool it up a little bit and just kind of like that fixed tan Hogan in Ultimate Edition form with the NWO gear. I think that would probably give it a little bit more juice as well. I just don't know if they're going to be able to throw together, you know, a Booker T or something like that. I don't know if that's in the cards. I don't know if they can throw that kind of Hail Mary at this juncture. I mean, I don't know. You know, things are in the works behind the scenes. I don't know all the details and all those things behind the scenes, like I said, but I'm hoping that they have one more card up their sleeve before we call it a wraps on this thing because I really want this stage, man. It's really amazing. It's beautiful. I want it, and I hope that we can get it to come to fruition, but I guess that remains to be seen. We will have to see, but that is wrapping up my thoughts. I wanted to tell you guys about the newly updated tiers. I want to know where your head's at. I want to know if you think they should add one more thing, maybe one more figure. Would it entice you if they brought DDP down to the 5,000 backers as well? Or maybe you could vote and get Ultimate Warrior down there at 5,000 backers. Do you think that would be enough? The three figures in the stage for 400 or do you think it's going to take a newly done figure or a savior macho man if you will i don't really know what they can do for the next crowdfunder man the next time we get a crowdfunder which is probably going to be the attitude era raw stage let's say this thing back so let's say we get the nitro stage back and then we bring in the monday night raw attitude era stage they need to come out with the damn guns blazing next time there doesn't need to be any farting around need to come out here and deliver the goods on day one but that is going to wrap up this video guys hope you guys did enjoy before we get out of here we got to give a huge Huge shout out to our patrons. Huge shout out to my patrons over there. If you guys are interested in backing the Patreon, showing the channel some extra support, I greatly appreciate it. Huge shout out to my man Rob Schwartz and Eel Swag for signing up. If you guys are interested in the Patreon and you want to go check it out, link in the description below. ProWrestlingTees.com slash MyDamnToys. Go cop yourself some merch. I greatly appreciate it. We're giving away an Elite 100 Rey Mysterio over on the Patreon this month, so definitely go check that out. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. And I'll see you next time. Hey, that time I said it once. Whoa.